Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath. Today's a very small and sweet topic, nasal decongestants. See the name very carefully. Actually, we know that congested place. Congested place means small place. Now, this topic name is decongested. That means that bigger place. That means bigger place. Yeah. Let us, we will see what is this nasal decongestants. Okay, right. See, this is your uh, nose only, your nose only from in the childhood, uh, whenever you are going to a school, uh, this is the photo, real picture. Uh, I saw that uh, photograph, I know that. But that time you don't know about the nasal decongestant topic. Uh, this time you became bigger and uh, you know that uh, what is the topic of nasal decongestant now. That's why it is very essential to read this topic now. This is the topic, nasal decongestant. So we are uh, moving as per your syllabus, okay? Now you are a pharmacy student, right? Nasal decongestants, very important topic, okay? And very common topic also. See, all the notes uh, is available in my mobile app. All presentations are nothing but my notes. It is available in the, my mobile app, same name, Pharmatrix for exam, see here. Okay, you can be downloaded from the Google Play Store, Google Play Store. For matrix for exams. So after opening the app, here you can go to the store option. Store option. See the bottom. See at the bottom here, store option. If you go there, so all the courses, my offering courses are there. So all the notes will be available. Important subjects were already uploaded. The remaining subjects also will be uploaded uh, time to time. No problem. Don't worry about that. So PharmD course, BPharmC course, MPharmC, MPharmC branches are available. Okay, right. See, what is this nasal congestion? Nasal decongestants that we will see now, first of all. See, congested means small place that we know very well. So, nasal congestion. So, since there was a very small nose, small place, small place in your nose, it leads to dryness. See, all the secretions are coming outside because there is no place inside. There is no place. It is congested. Place is congested. That's why... The secretion, nasal secretions are coming outside. Drainage, drainage started. Okay. Excessive nasal secretions you can observe here in the nasal congestion. Congested place in the nose. Why this congested place? Blockage of the nasal pathway. It's blockage. Why this blockage? Why this blockage? Nose membrane is inflamed. That means that inflammation, that means nothing but blood vessels are inflammation. Inflammation is nothing but swelling. So nose membrane, blood vessels will become inflammation and become a swelling. Whenever there was a swelling, there is a no place. Okay, so all the secretions are coming outside. So most common, this is a most common in infants. Okay, and it interferes with the hearing also, hearing, speech, sleeping, everything it will be in there. And what are the causes for this is a allergy, cold, flu, sinusitis, upper respiratory infection, either it may be a viral infection or it may be a bacterial infection or it may be a fungal infection, whatever it may be. These things are a common, okay? Now, nasal decongestants. What are these decongestants? Then now we will see. See, the name is opposite. Congestants, nasal decongestants. So these are the drugs, these are the agents that clear the nasal pathway. Nasal pathway will become a very clear. Mechanism of action, mainly we are using here adrenergic drugs. It is nothing but sympathomimetic drugs. In sympathetic system, your airway is increased. In the, whenever you see the lion, your body is in a sympathetic system. So, Adrenergic drugs are sympathomimetic system. So these drugs, we have to use it so that your air more very clear airway you will be get. Okay. Stimulates the alpha adrenergic nerve receptors which are present in the vascular smooth muscle. Alpha adrenergic. This is a very, 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 very important. Okay. So it constricts the dilated. All the dilated blood vessels will become constricted. So, whenever it was constricted, there was a shrinkage in the mucous membrane. Okay, it relieves the nasal stuffiness and 
you can also use the corticosteroids also but it is a less preference corticosteroids okay because it reduces the immune system yeah now you see nasal decongestants are two types orally what you are using if you are using all the medications orally like a tablets capsules pills like that if you are using then you can call it as a oral nasal decongestants if you are using a topically topical means just here here only not entire body topical means inhalates inhalations inhaled nasal decongestant example is nasal drops nasal sprays nasal gel nasal powders all are applying to the nose only these type of preparations called as a topical or inhaled nasal decongestants okay drugs are same for those both of the drugs same drugs are only here we will see oral nasal decongestants delayed action because you have to take a tablet it has to be absorbed it has to enter into the systemic circulation okay then it has to reach to the nose okay then they have to show the action that's why delayed action but prolonged effect effect will be there for a days together okay and it is a very potent very powerful than the topical nasal decongestant no rebound there is no reoccurrence there is no rebound example is adrenergic drugs i have already told sympathomimetic drugs example is phenyl ephrine phenyl phenyl we are using to clean the floorings phenyl that point you had to keep in your mind phenyl ephrine pseudo ephedrine these are the ephrine ephedrine now topical nasal decongestant opposite to this one delayed action here immediate action because directly you are applying to the nose drug will be there in the nose directly within 5 seconds you will get immediate relief immediate action but there is no prolonged effect only half an hour uh, one hour will be there again you have to take, uh, put the drops okay but it is a uh, less potent than the oral uh, but reoccurrence will be there here opposite of this example is same uh, adrenergic drugs sympathomimetic drugs like uh, ephedrine uh, nafazoline phenylephrine oxy because oxygen you are taking through the no no like that you can remember here phenyl phenylephrine oxy metazoline oxygen will go as a light like that you can remember and intranasal steroids like beclomethazone beclometh cluny solid okay here you can see some of the phenylephrine how to remember means phenyl doctor's phenyl we are using to clean the flooring see here phenylephrine nasal secretion see here topical nasal decongestion this is same phenylephrine tablets here this is a phenylephrine this one okay everything you have to be write in the examination where we have to use and when we have to use all this nasal decongestion either it may be a oral or acute rhinitis see here rhinitis allergic rhinitis here you can see allergy pollen allergy dust allergy animal fur allergy smoke allergy all allergy allergy relates to rhinitis rhinitis and sinusitis and the endoscopy the doctor want to see inside what is there inside your uh, nose he want to know he is very curious he want to know your nose what is inside inside okay this is called endoscopy they will put the camera inside and uh, what is there inside that you can see this is called a endoscopy endoscopy from one end they will put inside there, there will be one cavity will be there okay in, in our body cavity either ear nose mouth they will put endoscopy because it is a pipe end no g80 pipe end here nose end from end they will insert that's why this is called endoscopy okay during the nasal endoscopy for clear visualization of nose sinusitis we can use hay fever allergies high fever like that okay right so uh, i will end my session here keep watching all the, my playlists okay and uh, download the app immediately and purchase the course